Hello friends, this is Pankaj and you are watching AM and DevOps tutorial. In the last video we saw how to connect Slave Jenkins onto the Master Jenkins using JNLB protocol. And now in this video we will see how we can copy or clone the code which is in GitHub to the Slave Jenkins using a job which will be running in Master Jenkins. So here in this diagram you can see that we have a Master and we have a Slave Jenkins and these two are connected using the JNLB protocol. Now in this video what we will do, we will be having a code or a project in the GitHub and what we will do, we will create a job which will be running on the master, it will copy the code from GitHub to the Slave Jenkins. Now let's see how we can do it. So before starting this video, if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, you can subscribe it and press the bell icon. Let's get started. So here you can see we have this Ubuntu machine and Slave Ubuntu. This is my master and this is my slave. So in my master we have this Jenkins which is running and now here you can see we have a master and testing server. This is a slave engine and I have named it testing server. Now let me first open the putty. What we will do, we will open the session with this slave Ubuntu. Let me copy it and paste here. Now go to the SSH and go to the auth and here browse and upload the ppk file and click on open. So now we are connected with our slave agent. Type Ubuntu and now I am logged in in this slave agent. Now we are successfully connected with the slave agent. Let me clear the screen. Now if I will do ls here then you will be able to see that we have this Jenkins and let me go to the cd Jenkins. And let me do ls here. Here you will see we don't have anything, we don't have any project here. It's just a remoting which will be used by Jenkins. This is my workspace and what we will do, we will create a job that will copy a code from GitHub and it will paste here in the slave machine. So this is my GitHub project. So let's copy the project. Let me copy this GitHub project. You can find the link of this project in my description below and you can fork it and use this project. This is a simple one. This is just the index file I am using here and it has and it has just simple html welcome to jenkins tutorial that's it now what i will do i will create a job here so let's get back to the dashboard this is my master jenkins and i am going to create a job here so click on new item now just type let me name it uh, copy github name it anything and select on freestyle project and click on OK. Now here just click on GitHub project and here you need to paste the URL. So go over here and copy this URL and paste here. Once that is done, now this is the main thing, restrict where this project can be run. I want to run this project onto the slave agent. So click on this checkbox and here type the name. So my slave agent name is testing server. Just click on OK, that is done. And now scroll down and click on Git. Again, paste the URL of repository. And uh, my project is the public one, so there's no need to give a credential here. And let this branch be master. You can use any branch name. For example, if you have created future branch in your project, then you can use that one also. OK, I'm keeping here master branch. OK, that's it, guys. Now click on Save. So here you can see I am inside my copy github job. So once you run this job, you should be able to see your project in the slave agent. So let's so let's build it. Now click on build now. This job has successfully started. The job is successful. Now click on this and let's go to the, the console. So here you can see the building remotely on testing server in workspace. This is the workspace. So you can see home Ubuntu Jenkins. It has created a workspace. This is the GitHub. This is my Jenkins name. And here it has copied the Git repository. Find out. Let's go back to our putty. And here, let me type ls. Click on enter. And here, go to the Jenkins folder. Type ls over here. Now go to the workspace, cd workspace, enter. Type ls over here and here you can see we have this Jenkins job copy github. So let me cd over here, cd copy 
github now let me do ls here and here now you can see that our code that is from the github has been copied over here in the slave agent successfully now let's go back to the jenkins dashboard using which this job will run automatically as soon as we commit the code in the github so that's it from this video guys if you enjoyed this video subscribe my channel like this video and share this with your friends thanks again for watching